Hey guys, it's Sandra here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is part two of how to professionally detail the vehicle. In part one, I went through how I like to get all the relevant information about the vehicle, do my pre-inspection and record all that info before any actual detailing begins. So now you've talked to the customer, quoted a price and got them to sign off on it, it's time to begin. Whether it's something you prefer to plan mentally or write down, I can't stress enough about having a plan of attack or a workflow procedure. The worst thing you can do, especially as a professional, is have poor workflow procedures that have you backtracking, slowing your productivity and repeating steps due to improper planning and lack of thought. The truth is that after a certain amount of jobs, most detailers will pretty much know where they need to begin and to progress to step after step. But before I start any job, I personally like to either jot down or take five minutes to run through in my mind the steps I'll be going through for each specific job, as well as give myself certain time frames to accomplish each step. So this detail in particular is exterior only, so I'll be starting with the wheels and I want to knock them all out in about half an hour or less. Then I'll move on to the first stage of the decontamination, which is the wash, not forgetting the door jams, which will be followed by the second and third stages of the decom process, which are iron removal and clay barring. And I want this whole process to be done in about an hour and a half or so. I'll just quite briefly talk about the other steps as I'll be covering them in the up and coming videos. So after the car's completely decontaminated, I like to do a post wash inspection. After that will be the metal polishing, followed by any wet sanding that needs to be done. I'll then move on to my paint touch up, which once dry will also be sanded back again to refine and blend it. From there, I'll mask the vehicle in preparation for compounding and polishing. Once that's done, I'll move on to restoring and dressing any plastic and rubber trims and finish with the application of a sealant and or wax. On to step one, which is wheel arches, tyres, rim cleaning, decontaminating and sealing. I start with my wheel bucket with grip guard insert. I have a selection of brushes I use for four wheel drives, including my large Daytona rim brush, a long handled wheel arch stiff nylon brush, short handled stiff tyre brush, my mini Daytona rim brush, the Swissfax soft wheel brush and a microfiber washcloth. The two cleaning chemicals I use are Meguiar Super Degreaser and Wheel Brightener, which are both diluted 1 to 4 parts water. My decontamination wash mix, which is equal parts of Super Degreaser, Auto Brights Maggie Foam and dishwash detergent, which about 50 mils goes into the bucket. A stiff stream from a garden hose or a pressure washer foams and mixes the decon cleaning products. I begin with a thorough pressure washing, starting with the wheel wells, then moving on to the tyres and finishing with the rims. Giving both the inner barrels and the outer spokes a good blast. Next I use Super Degreaser, which has a foaming nozzle to allow the product to cling and dwell far longer resulting in a much better cleaning ability. It's firstly sprayed onto the wheel well and then over and around the tyre. After 30 seconds or so, I'll take the long stiff wheel arch brush and start at the highest point of the arch and scrub down both sides, also cleaning the inner mud flaps. I'll then use a short handled stiff tyre brush and again work from top to bottom around the tyre 
and using some real elbow grease to do the work. A quick rinse with a hose or pressure washer and it's onto the rims. I use a generous amount of wheel brightener, sprayed inside and on the outside of the rims. As well as a spray over the cleaning brushes to aid the cleaning action. The inner wheel barrels are cleaned first with a large Daytona brush. Followed by the back of the rim spokes, clean with the mini Daytona brush that I curve into an L shape to get into those areas. Then the outer rims are clean using the Swiss Fax wheel brush. Once again, working from top to bottom and adding a few more sprays of the wheel brightener as I go. Making sure I get into all the curves and crevices as well as the lug nut cavities. The last cleaning stage is done with the microfiber cloth that is run over the entire surface of the rims to pick up any remaining or stubborn dirt that may not have come off with the brushes. The rim is then rinsed off with water and left to dry while the other rims undergo the same process. Due to Concours Car Cares Purify, I'm able to both iron remove and clay the rims in one step. I firstly give them an even coat of Purify, allowing it to sit for a few moments and then use a wheel dedicated clay bar to decontaminate the rims of both embedded brake dust particles and traffic film contaminants. It really is worth your while to take the time to thoroughly remove those stubborn contaminants as this will allow the sealant applied to create a far better bond and protect the rims for far longer. The final step is protecting the rims and minimising the amount of contaminants that can bond to the rims. CarPro's Hydro 2 is my absolute favourite wheel sealant. For the fact that it applies so easily, gets into the inner wheel barrels where you can't reach and provides great durability with a great finish. The rim is rinsed off, Hydro 2 is sprayed on and then simply rinsed off again. Just make sure to evenly coat the entire rim so that the sealant makes contact with all those tight curves and crevices. I like to give the wheels a quick dry with the microfiber cloth to avoid any water spots developing or runs. and the tyre dressing will be applied later on after the vehicle is polished. That's it for part 2 of this video series, stay tuned for part 3 coming soon. I'll post some links of some of the products I've used in the description box. I really hope you liked and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.